The recipes is meant to be lit. Enough said, sis. Hey, 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 like that's whack. Anyway, hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, I Goddess. Welcome back to my corner where I inspire others to dream more, live more, and become more. Today is going to be a little different. We are doing a grocery haul. I've never done a grocery haul on my channel before. I was in the mood. I went like super shopping today and got a lot of stuff. And guess what, y'all? I'm going to be going vegan. Say what? Say what? For five days this is something that i just kind of wanted to do for like a cleanse and also i want my body to just feel better and i'm not a heavy heavy meat eater the main proteins that i eat are like chicken turkey i don't eat pork for the most part i don't really think this is going to be super challenging it might be but i don't know if you like grocery hauls if you like any type of lifestyle content then definitely subscribe i definitely plan on doing more recipe videos for you guys and if you enjoy of course make sure you leave me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel down below we're on our way to two Make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and without further ado let's get into the haul we're gonna start off with the produce i'm gonna try to go in categories if i can so starting off with the produce the first thing that i got were these kale greens i hope that you guys can see them in the frame but i got these kale greens and i plan on using these for mainly probably for like juicing so i probably will really only have these for like a day or two just for like a cleanse and you know i'm trying to like clear my skin up because my skin has been acting up y'all and i don't know what's been going on but yeah along with that keeping it in the family of the green juice i also got some celery i don't really snack on celery because i don't really like the way the strings kind of get like stuck in my throat or whatever most of the times when i'm using celery it's to juice next thing i got was this bad boy i got some um this is a cabbage you guys i tend to use cabbage when i'm making like a island type of dish like brown stew chicken jerk chicken curry chicken or something i know how to make a bomb vegetable soup recipe the best way to cook this is to shred it like cut it very very thin um it cooks quicker that way cabbage is also water based so um i get pretty full when i eat cabbage next green item that i got were these cucumbers babe loves cucumbers y'all he eats some like apples almost i did get cucumber because i wanted to add that to my green juice during the week so i got two of those i actually this is my favorite 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 like ready-made salad sweet kale salad if you've ever had it before comment down below and let me know y'all listen this salad is lit, I promise you. It has broccoli, green cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, pepitas, which I think is um, pumpkin seeds, radich, radicho, radicho, ooh, I probably just chopped that up. And then it has poppy seed dressing. I don't know, but y'all, all the items in here are obviously like raw, fresh vegetables. Everything together, once you mix it in here with the pump, like the crunch from the pumpkin seed and then that poppy seed dressing, snap period y'all go to Walmart, go to Kroger. Also got two onions. I got a white onion, onion and a can't talk. I got a white onion and I got a yellow onion. These are really awesome for just like the base when you're cooking. The holy grail for me when I cook, my mom taught me green pepper, red pepper, onion. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Oh my god. All right, moving on. The next thing I got were I got two bags of carrots actually. I mainly use whole carrots solely for juicing. I got two of those because most times, y'all. I can juice one whole bag of carrots just for maybe like 32 to 40 ounces of juice. I really, really, really love carrot juice. Awesome to like help your skin glow, to help your skin clear up. Digestion, if you having poop problems, I know that's probably TMI, but y'all, it will clean you out. It'll give you that good plan. If y'all want to see a juicing recipe or a juicing video, let me know in the comment section down below. I also, these are my favorite, favorite, oh, let me turn it this way. These are my favorite, y'all. I got some um, cuties, which are like mandarin oranges. And I actually got these because I get a sweet tooth pretty easily. And I wanted something that I can kind of snack on throughout the day that wasn't candy, obviously, or anything that was too sugary. While I'm cutting certain things out of my diet this week, I have a feeling that I'm going to have some funny cravings. So I needed something to, you know, get me together, you know. Next. Bananas. I love 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 bananas so what i typically do is i'll leave them on the counter to get brown a little bit and then the ones that get brown first what i do is i peel them and um i put them in like a large ziploc bag and i break them in half and i use them in my smoothies the key to a thick smoothie is to use frozen banana and if you don't like banana i'm sorry but you're missing out i promise you can use ice to thicken it up but me personally i feel like ice kind of waters your smoothie down so yeah frozen bananas are it for smoothie next 
We got some plantain, plantain. <laughs> As y'all know, Babe is from Nigeria and y'all Africans love them some plantain. They've grown on me. I used to really didn't like them too much, but I actually love them now. These are a great source of like carbs if you're trying to like switch it up. If you boil these with like a little bit, like put a little bit of salt in the water and boil these, they taste so good, I promise. Babe typically likes to fry his, but we also put them on the grill sometimes to make bully. If you're Nigerian, then you know exactly what bully is, but it's basically just grilled plantain. Next is this cantaloupe, y'all. This is like my number, probably like my number two favorite fruit. My number one favorite fruit are blood oranges or car car oranges. And for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but my car car oranges have gone out of stock. I can't find them nowhere, y'all. It's been weeks and it's been driving me crazy my cantaloupe is gonna have to do for now so these are also really good when you're looking when you have like a sweet tooth or usually in the mornings i usually go for i've been going for like a lot of walks and just exercising a lot lately so when i come back i usually have this already pre-sliced and ready in the refrigerator if i'm not mistaken i think cantaloupe is over 90 percent water anyway so i also got some strawberry you got the big thing these were actually on sale for like four dollars at walmart i'm doing this haul but then when i get done i'm gonna wash all of my fruit because Auntie Rona. Sometimes I will use these in my smoothies fresh, but for the most part, I prefer frozen berries in my smoothie. If you take like two, maybe two strawberries, cut the little green part off, slice them up, and throw them into your water with some mint leaf and cucumber, snap! Hurry! So I also got some red apples. I really don't snack on red apples, but I use these as a sweetener for my juice. These add a really good sweetener to my juices when I make like my carrot ginger juice or whatever. So I wanted to get some of these. These are actually um, gala apples or gala gala. Gala, 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 tomato, tomato. Y'all know that saying like tomato, tomato, potato, potato? I've never heard anybody call it potato. I guess unless you're from the UK because then you would say tomato. No, but even they don't say potato. They say potato, right? I don't know. Anyway, tomato. You can use these for stew. You can use these for jello rice. You can use them if you want to make like a fresh tomato type of um, puree for like spaghetti. The next thing are these funky potatoes, y'all. These are russet potatoes and I plan to do a whole lot of different things with these. You can put these in the oven and bake them. You can fry them up for like breakfast or you can saute them and have them next to your protein for dinner. Sometimes I'll put these in my brown stew chicken or I'll put these in my um, curry. I typically only get like two or three single ones, but I got the bag because I'm feeling like I'm probably gonna use a lot this week. Last but not least for my produce, I got this little baby, a spaghetti squash. This spaghetti, sorry, sorry y'all. Butternut squash, not spaghetti squash. There's so many different things you can do with this. Split it in half, roast it, and then peel it. Throw it in your blender and make like a butternut squash, coconut, carrot type of soup. Don't that sound bomb? Let's go ahead and move on to the canned goods so we can hurry up and get through this. I don't want the um, haul to be too long. The first thing that I got for canned goods are these beans. I got some black beans because again, I want to try to do like a vegan taco. To go along with those, I also got some lentils. Lentils are very versatile. You get very full. And these are going to be like some of my other sources of protein while I'm doing the vegan thing this week. I also have chickpeas, so I plan on using those, but I already had those in the cabinet, so I'm not going to show you guys those. Also got some coconut milk. If you know me, you know my love for coconut milk, y'all. I will throw this into absolutely every recipe. Another staple that you'll always see in my house are these, um, like tomato paste. Oh, tomato paste and stewed tomatoes. I just feel like stewed tomatoes, they give recipes a lot of texture, especially when I make spaghetti and stuff. I don't really like fresh tomatoes. I can eat them grilled, eat them stewed with soups. I can, however, you know, why do I sound like Dr. Seuss? On a chair, on a hair, in the air, a little late. You are rare. You've got long hair. Your face is bare. I tried to freestyle. That was, that was a fail. That's pretty much it for the canned item. We got two containers of um almond milk i love almond milk it's the only milk that i drink all right so moving on to the grains i got some of these extreme wellness um spinach and herb wraps i'm not a huge bread eater like i will eat bread if there's like no other option in the house you guys can see these are 50 calories per wrap it's only 15 carbs per wrap and i usually eat like just one of these and i'll like load it up with like protein with veggies and stuff like that and then on the side i'll have like carrots and hummus or something like that Ooh, chow. You try to do too much on camera now, I'm out of breath. Okay, Ooh, moving on. Also got this big bag, baby. This is parboiled rice. Can y'all see? I feel like rice is just a staple in the house, to be honest. It's very filling. I'm not really a person that like only eats brown rice or only eats wild rice. When I have rice, instead of serving it with a serving spoon, this is what I use to measure out my cooked rice. This is a half cup. I tend to use this when I'm trying to like watch my portions. The next thing I got was um, oatmeal. Typically don't always do breakfast in the morning, guys. Look up. I wonder. 
it's open. I got got. I was wondering if it was on freaking sale. I only paid 188 and I guess, I don't know if there's some packets missing out of here. Like, I know people not being ghetto. Y'all still in single packets out of Walmart? Single packets of oatmeal out of Walmart? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only eight packs in here. Wow. It's supposed to be a 10 pack, but it's an eight pack of maple and brown sugar oatmeal. I really don't do breakfast in the morning. The most that I'll do is like a protein shake. If I don't do that and I'm like, if I'm starving, then I'll do oatmeal. We're almost to the end of the haul, guys. Next thing is these Nature Valley granola bars. You are looking for like a filling snack. I would say definitely get you some of these. The only downside is that sis, when you rip these things open, they be crummy. Crumbs everywhere. Don't eat these on the way to work. You can eat these with yogurt. They taste really good with yogurt. You can also dip them in um, peanut butter. So yeah, I definitely had to get some of these. Then also, I forgot to also show you guys as a part of my liquid. I featured this in a vlog before. If you guys remember, this is the Vita Blend or Vita Cup Infused Tea Genius Blend. MCT oil, cinnamon, turmeric, and vitamins. And it says it's a black chai tea. And it also has MCT oil oil i forgot what mct is good for but i know it's good for something so yeah definitely go to walmart and try this y'all don't say i ain't tell you put a little bit of squeeze some lemon in there and a little bit of honey baby girl it's bomb next y'all organic coconut liquid aminos listen linda listen linda Listen. I have been seeing these on YouTube so much, but I've been too cheap to actually go out and just buy a bottle because they be like $5 and I'm cheap, y'all. I'm cheap. I promise I don't like spending no money if I'm after. Y'all see it says all-purpose seasoning. It says organic coconut liquid aminos all-purpose seasoning. And there's only 15 calories. And because I don't use it a whole lot, it was kind of worth the $5 because I'm probably going to have this for a while. My girl, y'all, as y'all can see, these were already in my cabinet, but I had to show these because these are my favorite 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 season is mrs dash is like my thing the reason is because her seasonings are all salt free so this one is the garlic and herb this is like an all-purpose kind of seasoning but particularly it's garlic and herb this one is just original seasoning blend so you can kind of throw it on vegetables or just whatever to be honest i very rarely like put a lot of salt in my food and i don't come for me because my food is bomb, first of all. A lot of seasonings already have salt in them, like seasoning salt, for example, or Nora Powder, Maggie. All those things already have salt. If you look at the back of those, majority of them already have salt listed in the list of ingredients. So it's like you're putting extra salt into a dish that already has salt. So yeah, they add a really nice flavor instead of like just a salty flavor. They add herby flavor, that kind of vibe. Really quickly, I also wanted to show you guys, I found a plant-based butter that's made with almond oil. I think that's going to be really good since we try vegan y'all i use butter a lot so i feel like it won't be a huge difference in flavor when it comes to this yeah that's going to be the end of this video guys if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to try the vegan thing with me for a week let me know let me know down below what you eat to stay healthy and keep that waist snatched y'all you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in my next video peace Hey, you. Girl, yes, I'm talking to you. You right there watching me right now. Come a little closer. I gotta tell you a secret. Subscribe to my channel.